Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood. We have a game tabletop this time around. We started with this table that we inherited. Now this is a perfectly serviceable kitchen table. It has nice tile on it. It's really solid. It's uh, served the previous owner very well. Happened to be my mother-in-law. Rest in peace. So we got this table. And it has four nice chairs that go with it. It's solid. It doesn't wiggle around. Doesn't need anything, but it's hard to play cards or anything on it because of the texture and the grout lines and all of that. So we decided to fix that. We got ourselves a piece of MDF. Now our dimensions, again, we don't use much for uh, plans, but our dimensions are dictated by the tabletop itself. So we got this three-quarter MDF and some mahogany, and we just laid it out. And we said, hey, this is how big the table is. This is what we're looking for. Let's use it this way. And this is the kind of thing we were after. Mostly we're looking for a place to rest our arms. I thought about including a thing to uh, put our drinks and whatnot like that. But I just, no, I decided against it. So in the corners, this is how we did it. Now that's the MDF there on the side, and all I did on this one was I just used that to locate the board so we could make the circle piece for our ends. I just thought it looked a little better, I don't know, it added a design element to it. So we did that out of cardboard, decided what the radius was and all of that, and scribbled it out. Once we had a piece that we could agree on, um, we did that with it. Take it over to the bandsaw. Now this is sped up a little bit. And, and But we carved it out. Now when we did this, we had to make four pieces. We made one piece that was real particular. We got real close to the line. We made it as perfect as we could. The rest of them, we just cut close. And the reason is, we need all four to be exactly the same. And the way you go about that is you make one perfect, and then you use some double-sided carpet tape and stick them together, take them over to your router table, and use the following bit. Now, if you look at that router bit there, there's a bearing on the top and the blade is below, so you have the perfect one on top, and when you run that around, you wind up with four pieces exactly the same. It's not exactly magic, but it is woodworking magic. Then you find a nice flat place to clamp this thing down, line everything, some pocket screws, and, uh, and some glue. And there you go. Set it up. That's what we did. And we wound up with that. Which you saw that picture before, so there you go. So it's worked out really well. And of course, we need an apron to go around the bottom side of this. So we have to do that. But uh, So we did some sanding on our top first, and ran it over the edges and took it outside to our big uh, paint booth, <laughs> a couple of spray cans, and did that. And then our apron, we um, you can see the underside of the apron here. The underside, there you go. And we used our, our um, pocket hole drill to make these lines because that makes a flat top on the inside of the screw thing so you're not putting in a wedge to shape to help split everything apart and when you put it together it winds up looking like that I know that's a fuzzy picture that's how it goes we got some blue felt I'll explain that to you in a second why we went with blue or you can see the apron down there it's our whole piece all put together and when you get the felt you just pull it across lightly we didn't use any uh, contact cement anything like that on there we just stretched it and staple it on the other side. And again, it was dictated by the size of the existing table. And our apron extends down past the MDF and past the edge of the existing table so that everything just sits securely on top of it. Now we're about a half an inch over all the way around on this thing. So it goes on and off with ease. You don't have to press it in place or stick it down. And that's why we used blue, because our Mahjong set is blue and white. So that's how we did that. So to recap, we started off with a table like this with a tile top. We decided we wanted something 
with a smoother surface, a little bit bigger space for our arms. And we did that with it. Worked out really well. It's a good way to make a multi-use table out of this. We can lift this thing off. It's not so heavy that you can't lift it off and take it away. And it worked out really well. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow and ring the bells and do all that stuff that YouTube says I'm supposed to say to make the world follow me. <laughs> like it matters. Hey, I'm glad you stuck around. This is Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood. Send beer.